Welcome to Twisted Creations. My name is Andrea and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing another candle. As you can see, we're going to do candle jar and we're going to make some wax tarts. So we're going to make two things today. The fragrance oil we're going to use is lavender essential oil. And the color we're going to use is Fantasia from Nurture Soap Mica. Okay, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is get my wax out and measure out one and a half cups. Just dump this all out and throw this away now. I'm going to measure out one and a half cups of soy wax flakes because I'm going to use one cup to fill up this jar which will make a three ounce candle and then I'm going to use a half cup to see how many wax tarts I can get in here. So this is my first time trying wax tarts so let's see what happens. So last time when I did a cup, it took three minutes to melt. Today I'm going to do it a little bit at a minute at a time to see how long a cup and a half should, will melt. It should be about the same, but since it's just a little extra wax, I want to make sure it gets melted all the way through without burning the wax. Seal that up so we don't make a mess, and we'll stick this into my microwave. So I'm going to measure out half a teaspoon of lavender essential oils. That would be 2.5 milliliters, and now we'll come back when the wax is melted. Okay, that was four minutes in the microwave. It is completely melted. My glass is hot, that's why I used a wash stride to get it out. So first, we are going to mix the color. I'm going to do a little bit at a time until I get the color I want. I'm looking for a nice lavender light color.
All right, and I pour a little here so it dries so I can see what color it turns is to. Test it. I like the way the mica swirls in the wax over soap. I think that looks so cool. It looks blue on the camera. This is actually purple. Okay, so I'm going to wait this to cool off for a little bit before I add the fragrance oil. Because if it's too hot, it'll just burn off the fragrance oil. Okay, that feels about right. A lot cooler, so we're gonna add our fragrance oil. I want to get a thermometer gun, which I'm gonna order soon. I was just looking at the prices while I was waiting, so I'm gonna stir this so it's thoroughly mixed. This is a, a lot of learning as I go. And a lot of getting equipment as I go. I'm enjoying my craft and hobbies very much. I'm enjoying making things for Etsy. Okay, give that a few more stirs. Let's make sure it's thoroughly mixed. The lavender smells great. I can smell it so it didn't burn off too much. pour our candle first because we know how much that takes. Set this aside with my pencils. Keep this centered. Okay. 
There we go. That one's set up. So now let's do the candle tart melts that I want to try. Aha, they're all even. I will be back when these are dry and we'll trim the wick on the candle. We'll pull these out of the molds and then we will put labels on them. I have labels ready. All right, until then. Okay, so these are now dry. So I'm gonna remove the pencils. I wanna show you the candles. So the darker mica settled at the bottom and this did a nice light lavender purple. I'm okay with it. I like the gradient that it has caused. So I'm going to keep that for future candles. I love the color. It smells great. So now it's time to snip the wick. You want a one-fourth away. Since you don't want to do what I want it to. Aha! And then you throw the rest of the wick away. So, these are ready. So I'm going to put the lid on this one. And then I'm going to put on the label. Okay. As you can see, I put it on. All right, now it's on and it's sticking. So there you go, there's my candle. Yeah, I didn't finish the video. It made it sound like it was, but it's not. I got one more sticker to put on, label to put on a sticker, but my daughter's been calling them stickers. So I started calling them stickers, but I got one more label to put on there, and that's the warning label. The burning warning label that I have. Yeah, I pull it off. And then I'm gonna stick on the bottom.
Yeah, it's a little big. I need to shrink those down <laughs> to fit on the bottom of my jars. There you go. You can read them. My warning label is on. My top label is on. They smell great. They look great. Can't wait to start selling these in the month of July. my tarts to unmold to show you how those came out and hope they came out great they un look like they unmold excellent so let's flip them down two three four so for that as you can see the mica went to the bottom of these again you can see the darker color and see how these stayed the lighter color and the mica fell to the bottom which is okay I like that it's just I wanted the whole color like that and they're not there's the tops I like the angles of the corners there and they came out really nice they look frosted I don't think this mica does really well with this candle wax not like the greens did so what I'm going to do is look into investing in some color blocks from Brambleberry or some candles from Amazon, candle colorant from Amazon. So this time for real, I am done. You guys have a great day.